On today's episode of Watch Share Go, we are back here with Project Rolls Smoke, the LS swapped 1979 Rolls Royce Silver Wraith 2. As you can see, the mock up block is in from last night. We've been working away on it and uh, it fits. That's what we know right now is it fits and the oil pans down in there. Everything kind of works out. And we're fabbing up engine mounts, so let's get after that today. What is going on guys? I'm Watch Jergo and today we're just gonna get right into it. Let's fab up some engine mounts for this car. This is how you make a bigger motor mount for your LS swap. Here's our measurement. 0.56 plate 0.2 inch our width at the widest point is three width on center with the hole 1.96 scanner bring our file into illustrator trace our artwork here ungroup everything and there is our cleaned up drawing a little smaller than real life i could blow it up but that's it let's go cut this eric's over here fixing my files looks way better motor mount time Magical motor mount extensions, look at that. Much larger and it tapers down. Got my spoiler game on lock here. It's uh, well, I assume it's a pretty big spoiler. Huge thank you to American Control Engineering Service for uh, using their metal stretcher and turning our short little mounts into these little mounts. So now these things will mount right down there on the rack and uh, time to do some cutting, do some welding. We're actually gonna trim these to fit. So we'll take a little bit of metal off the bottom until it fits in there. We have a box here for you guys. Cletus and Cars is coming up fast and we figured like an LS6, pretty cool, right? But it could use a little more power and it has a little more power on it. So uh, we're definitely gonna use that power adder. We have here, <laughs> ah! <laughs> that is our little more power. Check that out. Let's see if I can do this. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. A little bit of nitrous action for the rolls. This thing is gonna look so good in the back of this car. Look at that big, beautiful high flow valve on that guy. That's a roll size it's, bottle. This is a Rolls Royce size bottle and people have suggested that we wrap it as Grey Poupon and we might just have to do that. I mean, that is a brilliant idea. So let's go ahead and open up the rest of this box and see what we have here. All the swag, hats and shirts. We gotta wear that. And then anytime we're holding this bottle, we can say amateurs don't use nitrous oxide. You'll blow yourself to pieces. <laughs> What's this? Ah, our controls. We got old purge button, opener controls, heater, arm, and uh, don't worry. Fittings, relay, switch. Ah, yeah, pressure switch and uh, oh, relay. And fun meter. This is the glow in the dark gauge. It's the luminescent pressure gauge. So if we put, eh, it's tough to see. But uh, yeah, this should glow in the dark so you can read the pressure in, at, you know, at the track at night. Feed line, relays, uh, wide open switch. The watt switch right there. Watt? Watt, <laughs> going watt. What else do we have here? Uh, a bag. There's so many relays. Look at that. This looks to be the, yes. This is the Big Show 6AN purge kit. And uh, we're trying to come up with some ideas here. Not totally sure, but I, I kind of think that we need to punch a bunch of holes right here around this and run the purge straight up through the spirit of ecstasy. Sounds ideal. What else you got? More relays. Yes, more wiring kit. Hardware pack for the 0066000K. Ooh, there's some pretty jewelry. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. The billet mount so that we can make that trunk look super pretty. Remote bottle opener so we don't have to go to the back. You know, this is a Rolls Royce. We're not peasants. We're not gonna go open the trunk to open the bottle. So also, you know, that's kind of the key for racing. And this is the heater that goes into the billet mount. That's it. 
That's all? That's it. Oh, man. No, uh, honestly, <laughs> I don't even act disappointed. I'm so <laughs> excited. No kidding. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below to all of this nitrous outlet sauce. So, so excited about this. Uh, that said, let's get to assembling this giant billet bracket system. And then we're gonna go ahead and toss it in the trunk and just kind of see what it looks like with a 15 pound bottle <laughs> of nitrous hanging out in the trunk in this big, beautiful billet mount. I can't wait to cut open some stuff here. Build it here. I don't want to scratch any of this now. That's the problem. It's all so nice. I sure hope this fits. We didn't really do any math. We just kind of <laughs> jumped right in with, uh, oh, this is what we want. Pointed at that and said, that's what, that's the one we need. That's definitely it. That's the big one. <laughs> I said, you want to supersize that for a dollar? We're like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you do. Man, you got a lot of stuff in there, huh? So, you threw away the instructions, uh, I hope. Uh, there are no instructions that, uh, that I saw, right? Yeah. They know they're selling this to men. <laughs> no one's gonna read this. Yeah, they're like, you guys will figure this out. It's not a big deal. Nice. Colby. Colby. <laughs> <laughs> this goes here, clearly. That's the bottom, the heater, because it has to, like, the bottle has to sit on that. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, and then those appear to go... Oh, and then the arms. Okay, okay. Everyone's like, really? You guys aren't gonna read the instructions at all? No. <laughs> no. I have zero percent chance. <laughs> ah. Okay. So the only thing we need to figure out is what's the front and what's the back because they mount like that. Well, one's higher, one's lower, right? Yeah. So we need the bottle to mount forward. That's for sure. Yeah. The front's the big one like that, and then yours will flip like the other way there. I say we go ahead and lock tight. Oh, oh, heater. We need some Allen wrenches because the heater has to go in first. I'm going to get them. So the heater wires go through there, which is really cool. It has a little, little heater wire notch. Sounds like there's a large LS powered beast outside. Yeah, I hear some beats. I, I hear something big. Sugar. What's that? So the word on the street is that's Mr. ICT Billet himself. Mr. ICT. What's up? It's Mr. ICT himself. Hey. So, what do you think? Come on. <laughs> Like you got a lot of work for yourself here. Yeah, you're not kidding. We uh, we decided to just throw in this towel in the work and we're putting together the billet nitrous bottle holder with the heater and everything right now. <laughs> we're like, you know what sounds fun? You gonna mount it on the, on the trunk right here? Yeah, would that be awesome actually? So <laughs> we get pulled over? You guys transporting uh, hazmat? No, I'm totally <laughs> opposed to that. I'm like nothing's going on there. <laughs> So we're not using this wiring harness. I'm not gonna tell you what we're using yet. That's for a future video. But for now, it's time to get the factory harness off of this engine. So all we gotta do is spend a couple seconds here stripping this thing down. Oh, and uh, also we're gonna get off all of this bracketry and upgrade big time. Mr. ICT Billet brought us all of the stuff that we needed to actually get this engine in here. So, so, so excited about this. All of this beautiful billet bracketry on this LS6. And the reason for it is, none of the accessories will fit down low because we're gonna have to bring the exhaust out the front and then straight down. So, uh, all like the alternator and the AC that are down there typically, those are all coming way up here where we have lots and lots of room to deal. So we have, look at that. We've got a new AC compressor right there. Uh, all the stuff to fit in these brackets. The only thing we still need to go get is an alternator. And we sort of just kind of happened to have an alternator. Uh, it was in a van.
like a performance LS engine to you guys? <laughs> Comment below if you want this in your Honda Civic. Uh, this, <laughs> it looks, I mean, it's beautiful. I love it. All this nitrous outlet stuff. There's our flipped manifolds that fit now because they can dump straight down and we can work around that. Still gonna be a tight fit, but it sure fits. That's awesome. All so much billet. Beautiful, beautiful compressor. I'm, I'm so excited. There's so much billet, look at that. I mean, we went from this old Rolls Royce that's like galvanized steel covered in some fiberglass or something to this, <laughs> just billet everything. And it's all so lightweight and so nice. Yeah, we can pick our orientation for that bad boy. That's super cool. Damn. What a nice, if, yeah, if you need <laughs> brackets for your LS, this stuff fits together so well and it's so nice. There's not a rough edge anywhere to be found. Like nothing will hurt your fingers when you're installing it. It's all finished. Yeah, these instructions are amazing. Color coded? Color coded. And there's even, yeah, there's a ruler so you can measure the bolts because it says, you know, put in an 80 mil bolt, you can just drop the bolts on there and no. Amazing. So, that's just great. Look at this. Got you. God, you're like, bottle time. <laughs> Yes. Boom. So my game plan is to center the bottle, make it just ruin all the luggage room, right? Yes. So, yeah. And then we're gonna light this thing up. <laughs> it fits really well. It's pr probably tough to fit a 15er in a lot of cars, but this thing holds a 15 like it's nothing. <laughs> and you can still put like two of your official Rolls Royce luggage bags on each side. That's awesome. It's in the clean zone. Now, uh, I guess we gotta get that gas tank out and get to work on that. No, uh, don't remind me. <laughs> uh, we can wait on the gas tank because we've got a fuel pump coming that we got to put in the tank. That is insane. How on earth does that fit? <laughs> Stealth mode. Sideways down inside the compartment and it's a sleeper. It even fits under the edge where the panel sits. Uh, I guess we pull it back out and put our nitrous gauge on the bottle now because it needs a gauge and we can open our opener. It's about to get real funny. <laughs> <laughs> Unfilled bottle, don't worry guys. All right, here's our gauge. Time to open it up. We're gonna get some Teflon paste, put a little bit of lubricant on this, and install the new gauge. This is super cool. Oh, it glows in the dark. I wish I could show that on camera. Let's see if I can here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that nitrous gauge glows in the dark. What size wrench do you think that is? Some, I guess a 10 or 12? Or a seven, yeah. 7 10, 12, 7 16, something like that. Seven sixteenths. National pipe thread, not international. <laughs> Our bottle opener. Let's get this thing on here. Here's the how to install your remote bottle opener. Uh, pop off the cap that's on the end of your valve here. Of course, I already scratched it because it was bound to happen. Pop that guy off of there just like that. Leave this nylon washer and we'll install the collar here. And the collar needs an Allen wrench to tighten it down, and it should probably go straight up and down, right? Mm -hmm. um, I think so. That yeah, way. that way we can put that down. Yep. Yep. Okay. So there's a screw hole right there, straight up and down. Slide this on here. All right, nice and tight. And then we put on this knurled uh, valve handle, basically, that allows the remote bottle opener to open the bottle. Once you get this on, put your nut back on there. Oop, or drop the nut, whatever it is you like to do. Don't drop that, don't ta da. And now we can put on our electric bottle opener here. Give it a little. Yeah, now we just need to uh, run the motor to close the bottle. And this set screw right here on top holds everything together. 15 pound bottle, billet bracket with a built in bottle heater that's so stealthy. And we still have trunk room. I think that fits exactly up to the wall. The wall sits right about here. And we've got tons of clearance and a 15 pound bottle in the back of the Rolls Royce. Woo wee! We've got weatherproof connectors and everything to wire the bottle opener up. Uh, we're gonna wire the heater up and everything. And we've got that whole control panel to really tile this together. So next up, I'm gonna pull some feed line through this car. We'll do that while we're pulling in our new uh, AN lines for the fuel. I have to tell you a story. About this time last year, I was going to work every day at my day job, sitting at my desk, and one of these days, I opened up Nitrous Outlet's website, 
and I customized like this exact system. I wanted to go a little crazier and do like direct port injection and everything, but I was like, man, this is the perfect nitrous system. And I'm sure it had the composite bottle in it too because I like to be, you know, ridiculous for the sake of it. But here we are one year later and I have no job and the nitrous system I always <laughs> dreamed of and an awesome LS with the project that I'm more thrilled with than any other project I've ever worked on in my life. I mean, this thing's gonna be wild and we're gonna have a blast with it. And I can't wait for you guys to see it at Cletus and Cars, February 15th. It's coming, it's coming soon. We got a lot to do. We gotta get this purge set up. We need to find like a machinist that can drill off tiny little holes and then run the purge into this or something. <laughs> it would be so cool to do it like that. And uh, yeah, about time to start pulling in feed line and things, huh? I think we're, so. We're getting there. I think we can save feed line day for fuel day. That way we can pull them both at once. We have to run a lot of lines and a lot of wires from the front to the back of this car. But it sure is coming together. And we've got, I guess we don't have enough feed line. We can just leave all this coiled up in the bay. <laughs> we'll, have, we'll have enough no matter what. It's gonna fit, I can tell you that. Pedal, now we're just waiting on uh, the last very, very important piece of the puzzle. And it's coming soon. Well, we have a lot more installation work to do here. But like I said, I'm just so thrilled about this purge kit. Can't, just can't wait to start getting this stuff on. Got to go get that bottle filled and uh, tomorrow we're going to start trying to put this engine in. So that is it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching Project Girl Smoke. Don't forget to head on over to shop watchjrgo.com and pick up some cool merch like this and uh, I'll throw a link in the description below for that. Thank you again so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do and I will talk to you next time. What you looking at? The power zone? Yeah. <laughs> Grab it. One Rolls Royce transmission adapter plate coming right up. <laughs>